Hey y'all, I'm back. It's Angel with Home and Heart with Angel. Again, I'm so excited. We are cooking up some stir fry. I've never made this recipe before. So I have it printed up, but I'm gonna be following it uh, with you guys today. So this is called black pepper chicken. The prep time takes more time than the cook time. The prep time, it says 20 minutes. Cook time five, total time 25 minutes. So this is a great weeknight meal. Um, so our prep is combine the chicken, which I have on my board. I'm gonna be doing two pounds of chicken. Um, I'm doubling the recipe. You guys know, I forgot to turn my light on. Hold on one second. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Okay, so it says that we combine our chicken, our soy sauce, our Shaoxing wine or dry sherry. I happen to have some dry sherry in a mixing bowl and um, we're gonna coat the chicken. So this is gonna be marinating while we are chopping up onions and vegetables, which is just onions, bell peppers, and cook some rice. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken chopped up and thrown into a bowl of marinade. And then we're going to get cooking. I have a little helper in here with me. Sometimes I'm lucky enough. Would you get my wok? Your wok. Pantry. Oh. Wok. I'm gonna be using a wok. If you don't have a wok, you can use um, like a large, um, like skillet, like a flat bottom type of pan that has a nice amount of area to work with. Yeah, there you go. So let's come down here. And the picture, it's, um, you could do chunks or slices. Let's get our chicken in the bowl. All right, you wanna get me a measuring cup? It looks like we need one cup. Two tablespoons, just an, actually, just some tablespoons. You want to get me some tablespoons? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw the, oh, and it calls for cornstarch, I wanted to tell you. That's what's gonna be the thickening agent to this recipe. Where am I at? All right, we're back. Okay, so the recipe says, two tablespoons of light soy sauce or regular soy sauce two tablespoons of the wine and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So we're actually, this is the type of um, recipe online. You can adjust the amount of servings on there and it adjusts everything for you. Yeah, that is doubled. Everything is already doubled for me. Doesn't look like this recipe is gonna last long. They never do. All right, so let's get our marinade going. You could probably just eyeball it if you're an eyeballer. I normally am an eyeballer, but not everybody is. Whoops. So we'll measure it out. Okay. Two tablespoons. Thank you, ma'am. Of the soy sauce. Mm two tablespoons of the sh cooking sherry. Perfect, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're back. Okay, surprise of all surprises. There isn't any cornstarch because I have a 10 year old who likes to make things like slime and oobleck. So we're gonna experiment some flour. Let you know how that turns out. Alrighty. So we're just going to get a little spoon. Let's gently stir this around. Let's see if that's all that it says. Yes, this is all that goes in the marinade. All right. So we're gonna just let this hang out, do its thing while we move on to 
the rest of our steps. Let me put this in the refrigerator while we do that. Okay. <laughs> we found it. Okay. Sauce. Let's read when and how we do the sauce, though. All right. Marinate 10 to 15 minutes. Combine all the sauce ingredients in a small bowl. Mix well and set aside. So we need another bowl. We're going to do one cup of chicken broth. So let me get a cup. Start around usually works much better with warm water. What do you need that for? Ready to type? No. What? Never mind. Mm, how about y'all go straighten up that loft? Yeah. Mm. Oh, his math? Good idea. Good boy. Come on. Okay, one cup of chicken broth. Four more tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. Hold on one second, son. Hey, you want to do this while I type? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoops. Come on. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Uh -uh, all the way, all the way to the end. Yep, all the way to the top of it. Mm-hmm. 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 All the way. There you go. All right, you hold that. Mm -hmm. I'll pour this. Four, four more of these. Sherry. One. Mm, let me tilt it down. Two. Three. I think we're going to use up almost pretty much. I'm just going to put that in there. Because we're not going to keep that little baby bit. So I'll add a little bit more too. Counter like that. All right. Okay. Light soy sauce and dark. I only have dark. So we're going in with four more dark. Because that's what I got. I don't, I don't really actually think I've ever bought light soy sauce. Wait, do we? I think you'd have to go to the... I bought sodium. I love what that is. Low sodium. But I don't know. I would have to probably go to the Asian store, which I do. Yeah, our Whole Foods. Okay. All right, we're gonna just, I really think it'll be fine. I mean, we all already know that flour is a uh, thickening agent that is used in cooking. It's usually cooked. However, oh, you can use the small one. I put some in there earlier. Um, so, I'll just have to take that into consideration. Four teaspoons of, oof. oh no, okay, it was blurry. Sorry, it was a little blurry. Um, four teaspoons, no, wait, sorry, three tablespoons of sugar. So rinse that out and dry it so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to get the black pepper. It calls for four teaspoons. I'm feeling this is going to be a little bit spicy. It is going to be a little bit of a kick on there. Okay. Okay, you did that? Okay, this is three tablespoons of sugar. The so three of those. All right. Perfect. So you want to whisk this up? All right, we're going to get this whisked up. And I'm going to get my rice going. We're going to serve this over jasmine rice. nice and hot and let's see 
four tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of minced ginger. I have these two. I'm just gonna use that. Um, I do have garlic. They do that. All right, could you give me that back? Yeah. Okay, so one white onion chop and four bell peppers. So what I'm gonna do, because this is just what I had, I'm doing frozen. All right, take these to the sink, open it up, and squeeze the water out of the bags. Okay. in here. Woo. Wait, wait. I'm supposed to swirl the oil around. That way it doesn't stick to the wok. So I make um, stir fried rice a lot. So I am familiar with that method. I just don't typically really stir fry much else. So this is kind of new to me. Try and like spread it out as I go. I don't want to burn my towels. Okay, so I have to spread it out. And leave it ready. Come on. Okay, keep doing what it says. Get nervous. Get a plate. Get ready to take this out as soon as it's ready. Get my spatula. Add the remaining olive oil, uh, uh, I mean not oil, olive oil. Just regular oil and ginger and garlic. Yes. Ready to be. Yeah, it's not sticking. Oh, wow. That looks nice. Oh, wow. It is brown already. And it's not sticking, just like they predicted. Oh, this is working out nicely. I might be able to move you closer. You can see really good. It's kind of resting a lot. I'm going to stand it a little bit unstable. Trying to just turn it without just full on stirring it to get the other side done. Looks like I don't know if I can move fast enough to get it all turned over. Oh, I'm going in. Ah! I feel like I have no choice. See, that's what you don't want. And it said it wouldn't be that if it... <laughs> what did it say? It mostly didn't. Just a couple pieces on the side where I think didn't get much oil. All right, trying to spread them out again a little bit. I try not to steam everything. That's the point. In the high heat, the quick flash frying, you're trying to get everything to cook fast with high heat. Okay. Let me get my plate. I'm going to get the chicken on my plate and I'm going to let it uh, 
the pot get a little hot again. I'm not gonna wash my pot out. Um, even though it might cause a little sticking, I just don't want to lose the temp. Add a little more oil. And our garlic. And what do they say? The ginger, so fragrant. Come on, ginger, don't fail me now. Get out there. There you go. All right. So do your thing. And then get in a little top. Mm, I don't want to put a little bit splashy. Let get my peppers in. I know this is not ideal if you have fresh. Use fresh. This is just what I had. And I am a big fan of what you got. All right, let's just stir it up. And um, getting even a little bit hard. See, you can even do this, but we stir it because I noticed some of the sugar sticking to the bottom. With uh, frozen vegetables, who knew? Well, you know, if you think about it, you go to the store in the grocery section, in the uh, freezer section, there are so many stir fry meals in there whatever right all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get the sauce up to boil it says that your cornstarch will thicken well we know we have no cornstarch in here but the flour will also thicken and i think it'll be just fine what I have learned in all my years cooking is you can usually, you got your, sharp, your gem sharp tights on, they look cute. Mm -hmm. You can usually um, improvise and make it work. There's always something you can swap out. Did something go wrong? Oh, I didn't have the flour. I mean, the um, mm -hmm. cornstarch had flour. And these aren't fresh vegetables, they're frozen. But I think it's still gonna be amazing. Yeah. I can promise you my kids are gonna devour it. So. That's what matters. Okay. So I will post this. I know I haven't been posting recipes because a lot of them are just for my brain. Um, and other ones I looked at before I go online and then I just cook it and then that's it. But I need to be better at writing the recipes. So I will do that. Good, I know, right? Okay. That's not good. Um, let's make sure this is the last thing that I'm gonna have to do. Add back the cooked chicken. Quickly stir a few times to coat everything with the sauce. Turn off the heat and remove from the stove. Oh, immediately transfer everything to a big plate so the ingredients won't keep cooking in the hot skillet. I don't really have like a it's going to be a really big plate. Oh, it worked fine. Look at this. Look at this delicious, saucy. It's perfect. It thickened up. Look at all those peppers and onions and garlic and ginger. Stir this around a few times to coat. And remember, the chicken was 90% done, so it's finishing up the last few minutes right here in the sauce. Oh my gosh, this made a ton! This made an absolute ton of food. Okay, well, we're actually are gonna end up probably with leftovers. Probably, I say that, I don't know. I'm feeding a lot of grown kids.
but it is going over rice. So yeah, I will have leftovers. Well, we'll eat this for lunch tomorrow. This pot gets hot. I really want to walk with the wooden handle. I just hate to start over. I've had this thing, I don't know, 10 years and it's well seasoned. I almost thought about just getting one fabricated on. I don't know if it's worth doing all that, but. All right, I'm turning it off. I don't have a big, big plate to put it on. My rice is still just put putting away over there, so it's not ready yet. You could see all the um, the black pepper on the on, ch on the chicken. Yeah, that's where you can see it best at. You see that? It smells so good. I really can't wait to try it. I'm gonna be patient. I want to eat with the kids. We'll probably eat um, realistically in about an hour. Everybody's going to the gym. So we will be back. And we will do a taste test. So um, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'm going in. <sighs> I'm super excited. Ready? Caleb's filming. Allie's not feeling too good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the chicken is so tender. That really is a key. Don't overcook your chicken or else it will be rubbery and dry. This is so soft, so tender. You just bite right through it. The sauce, it's a little spicy. It's a little sweet. You can really taste that ginger. The peppers still have some crunch to them, which is nice. The key, it's a little spicy. The key to stir fry is cooking it fast, right? Not just letting it just simmer in the pot and doing it separately like in batches. That's how I do my, um, my rice too. That four big scoops of pepper made a difference. <laughs> it's seriously so good. All right. Give it a try. You will not regret it. I'm going to see if I can get my big girls to do a taste for the camera, too. If not, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 50 subscribers so I can go live. I cannot go live until I have 50 subscribers. So, anyway. Thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow or the next day.